Hello everybody and welcome back to Borderlands 2 Reborn. In the last episode we went through here and got the parts for Herbert to repair the compass piece. So we're going to go over and give those to him and hopefully he can repair that and we can go over to Scarlet and she'll be nice and happy with us and everything will be great. So let's, let's just have a see. I'm just checking to see if there's anything really great over here. It doesn't look like there's anything amazing yet. Um, we'll keep heading on and try and get this DLC blasted out. Like I said, w with these DLCs especially, I want to try and get the story done as quickly as possible. I'm not, I'm not going to try and rush through it, so to say, but I am going to kind of focus more on the story. My God, the hell's going on here? The Leviathan knows we're close to finding the treasure. Oh my God. Kill him and avenge my Roscoe. God, Roscoe is so cute. Had this big old face you just wanted to squeeze. And what are you jackasses looking at? Get back to work! Swab something, goddammit! My god. <laughs> ah! A raider skiff. But yeah, so basically we're going to try and s sort of beeline the story more than we are the side missions. Side missions are probably something we'll come back to if we have the time. But basically, we're getting closer and closer to the release of Borderlands 3. And I really want to get the new DLC uh, done before we end up getting to Borderlands 3 being released. And obviously, we've still got four DLCs to get through before we even get to the um the new dlc so obviously if, if i don't get it done i don't get it done it's it's not gonna be the biggest deals i suppose i could always do it on stream at another time because borderlands 3 as soon as that's out is gonna take up all of my borderlands attention so it, it's gonna be a shame for this series but we should or, or i hope we should be able to have enough time to get it released especially if i upload a few more videos here and there like every, every now and again uh, you might get two borderlands videos in a week sometimes you'll just get one it depends i lowered the amount of videos i've been uploading like a week recently just a bit just because i didn't have as many backlogged and i went home for a little while then i went on holiday and i just wanted to make sure that i had enough videos for you guys and didn't have to overextend myself and record too many in one time and i just made sure they lasted a little bit longer for all you there um but now we're, uh, we're back into it i might start uploading a, a bit more now that i've got a bit more free time so we'll just we'll just have to see though so we've got a head over the hair but it's a good grenade that there um a lot of good grenades there got an amp shot shield there what shield are we using at the minute we're using a max health and elemental resist one. Them ones have been real good for us so far. Um, I don't really want to get rid of them. Got, yeah, we need to get a better sniper. This sniper's great, but it'd be awesome to get like a really high power one shot one. This one's kind of more of a rapid fire sort of thing. Damn it, didn't quite get that guy. Gotcha. Gotcha. I think we can use this shortcut now, can't we? I'd hope at least. Yeah, here we go. Look, we got this here. We can ride this all the way because it's going to be real annoying if we couldn't. Here it is. Something's still chasing me out over here. There he is. Got him. Yeah, I'm getting good with my sniper headshots. I do like uh, I do like sniping in this game. It's very. I don't do it that very often because I like I like my shotguns close range, high power gameplay. But snipers are very satisfying in this game. Just picking off someone's head real quick, just giving it, giving that head a good old pop, a good old squeeze. That's that's always nice. That's always nice. Wah, 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 wah. Right, let's get all the way up there, and then Herbert, the little pervert himself. Just see what's in these. Herbert, the little pervert himself can try and repair that nice little compass for us and we can make our way a little further into the story of this and reach that leviathan that she's talking about i'm not exactly sure what that entails i cannot remember i remember the the loot area like the, the final sort of loot room like all the dlcs have some sort of big loot room at the end oh wait what the fuck no no no, no. I, I didn't realize i had to be on that shit sorry it is deployed i can't remember what our grenades do at the minute Okay, they're herming and they blow up a lot. It's a herming MRIV. What weapons are we rocking? I can't remember what weapons we're rocking at the minute. We've got this cool SMG. I remember this. This, is, this thing's amazing. Right, let's let's get this back down here. 
And our turret's doing explosive damage now. Our turret's really become a complete asset to us now. I'm, I'm really happy about that. It's become very, very important to us. Um, I really liked the idea of switching up the skill tree slightly and heading down this one more, because it means we get some more sustain in terms of healing. We've got way faster reloads. We get this extra he here. We're going to be able to get some slag rounds on top of that as well. Um, I I'll probably end up going for maximum grenade counts, because grenades are just so, so important to us. They're, they, they allow us to do such massive damage in such a short amount of time. And... Being able to carry, like, what what will it be? Um, how much can you upgrade that by? You can upgrade that by um, by three, I think. Is it three or it might be five? If it's five, that's insane. Um, but I'd assume it'd be three. Even 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 if it is only three, that's still eleven grenades. And we haven't even got the last few um, iridium. Uh, the last few bits of iridium. Uh, grenade deposit things, the upgrades, the SDU upgrades. So hopefully once we get those, it'll be even further. Obviously at the minute we can't spend Iridium because we haven't found Sanctuary yet. What I might do is off camera, go and do the first part of the story again until we unlock Sanctuary, just so we can spend our Iridium uh, as normal, as we did in the uh, normal mode rather than True Vault Hunter. Hey, little old pervy herby. Got the polycriton? Gimme! Gimme! There you go. Do it, boy. This goes there. What? The how? That. How the fuck did Put you do that? that? Down just a hair. Aha! How did you do that? Here you go. The last piece of the compass. You mad lad. Now give that to Scarlet along with the tapes, and she'll love me yeah. again. <laughs> and if she doesn't, I'll follow her, and I'll smell her, and I'll just make her love me. <laughs> okay. You got the compass. Piece. You sure can try, now you kooky old fucking. Take the gift. A gift from Scarlet? I knew it. I knew she cared. <laughs> oh, sorry about that, Herbert. Oh, I forgot to mention you were carrying a rather large bomb around with you, didn't I? Many apologies. Now just bring back the well, compass piece so we can find out where the treasure's buried. Well then, I mean, he was a bit weird, but I'm not quite sure if that was the right approach. Then again, he was saying he was going to follow her around forever and sniff her and smell her, and he did have recordings of her sleeping. So maybe it's on the better side of things that he's uh, he's no longer with us, but I do feel a little bad for using him um, and then just kind of offing him. But I suppose it's all in a day's work for a Vault Hunter. It's nothing out of the norm for, for us, really, is it? All in a day's work. Right, let's head back over to Scarlet. See how she be doing. Give her this compass and see exactly where we need to go from here. Because I'm not 100% sure. I'm not 100% sure. Like, I imagine there's going to be at least three or four more big story missions before we get over to the, um, the Obsidian, whatever the hell that thing is called. Uh, the Leviathan, that's that's his name. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm guessing there'll be a few more areas we've got to head through before we end up heading to that. But we'll see. We shall see. Oh, there we go, some Iridium there. Yeah, we're, we're ne nearing 50 Iridium right now, so... Nice. Yeah, we're nearing 50 Iridium now, so... It's gonna get to the point where we need to spend it. The fact that that just herms. Is it called herming? Or is it, is it just called lob? What's this one called? It is called herming, okay. It's got a prefix of herming. Herming's a very good prefix to have on a weapon like that. Oh, hello. You're stuck inside the floor. Well, it can end like this. Do you know why it can? Because it did. Is that amazing? It doesn't look that amazing. What's this compared to our... See, this is so much better. This is just so much better. That one fires faster, yeah, but look at this. Guns. I got them, you need them. I got them, you need them. Right, let's do some comparing. E to compare. So, we've got more damage with that. We've got more accuracy. Lower fire rate, that's a problem. Better reload speed, better mag size. Increased weapon stability and accuracy. I'm actually going to go for that one, even, if, even though it's got a lower fire rate, because... Hey, because I just think it's going to be so much nicer for us. Uh, let's sell that. We can sell that, 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 that. 
Then we'll trade over these weapons. Trade that pistol with that pistol. And then we can sell that one over to you. Right. Th this one's got a bit slow fire rate, but I think what that means for us more than anything, actually, why don't we just... Why don't we just sell these while we're here? There we go, look at that. A little bit of extra dosh. But yeah, like, I'm thinking the, the lower fire rate is going to be better because it's going to mean we're a bit more accurate. We're not wasting as much ammo at a time. And the improved stability and accuracy is just going to make the gun overall better to use. And then on top of that, we've got a faster reload and an increased mag size and slightly higher damage. So I think the damage output overall is going to be much, much better for us. Now, is there no way we can get a sand skip over here? Because this is an incredibly long way to run. I really don't feel like running all this way, but apparently, apparently we have to. We don't have much of a choice here. Isn't this where the, um, where that cargo was stolen? Or was that over there? I can't remember. But we've got a, quite a long way to run. Unfortunately, we don't have too much movement speed boost. I suppose we can, um, equip this briefly just to get a bit of extra movement speed while we're running. Uh, it does help a bit. I wish there was some sort of quick way to, to swap, um... I was going to say charms then, but we're not playing Hollow Knight, are we? Um, to swap our... What are they called? Relics. It would be nice just to press F5 or whatever and it swaps over. Uh, just to make things a little quicker for us. But I can understand why why you don't have that ability. Because you could very easily abuse that while in combat by changing to ones that give you like extra grenade, grenades damage and extra launcher damage depending on the weapon that you're using. You can end up carrying like five of them around with you and just switch between them whenever you switch weapons. It ended end up being a bit overpowered. You kind of got to play on that trade-off. Um, whether you want like the assault rifle damage and then mainly carry assault rifles or if you want something that's more general like an elemental damage and only carry that element or even just something like the one i've got with the extra health regen that just helps out in a more general sense right i think we're almost there now can we can we oh no we can't i was going to see if we could maybe jump on top of that and see if that would help us out but it doesn't look like it we actually fell incredibly slowly there it does feel like borderlands um to have slightly lower gravity than than the other borderlands titles obviously apart from pre-sequel because that's in space it legitimately does have lower gravity but you know what i mean like oh yeah the accuracy on this is way better but i mean uh, like as compared to borderlands one all right let's head up here See what Scarlet says. Hopefully she's impressed with our work. I'm not going to be quite as obsessive about impressing her as Herbert was, but at least hopefully she um, appreciates what we've done. What we've done for her. So we have uh, we have kind of risked our risked our life dealing with that crazy, crazy man. I will do. No refunds. Hey, oh, let's actually we won't switch back to the other 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 um, thingy yet. Right, here we go. Herbert, Neither of those impressed me too much. Assemble the compass and find out where Captain Blade buried his treasure. Here, this is my piece of the compass. Take it. She's very trusting. Uh, that, that does now, mean she's probably going to stab us in the back, though. Other three pieces of the compass you've collected on that table over there. There it is. Look at it. The compass of the sands. Please grab it. Give me. And now we've treasure to find. Take the compass to Magnus Lighthouse. Let's go. We've got booty to find. Let's go. Captain Blade built the Magnus Lighthouse a oh, few he dead. <laughs> years before he died. His notes say that if you take the compass to the top of the lighthouse, it'll show you exactly where I the see the lighthouse is over there. Look. Of course. Blade's notes also had a lot to say about society being secretly run by sentient tacos. He kind of went off the rails there near the end. Oh, hello. Raiders sound skip. Apparently Raiders just sit inside pipes inside the mountains. Good to know. I can't quite tell if I'm going the right way here. It seems like this might be the wrong way. But do you know what? I'm going to keep going and hope, hope it kind of loops back around. Let's actually have a look at the map, shall we? Because I feel like I'm being a bit special. Okay, it's definitely the other way. Just just go the other way. Haha. -ha. Got you on the flippity flop. Catch you on the flippity flip. The flippity flop. Keep her going, skating through the sky. Hey, back off, Raider. Raider scum. Right, I will indeed uh, swap over my uh, my relic when I get over there as well, because I imagine we're going to be facing some combat. Yeah, it's right here. I'm stupid. 
I'm very stupid. Right, yeah, let's let's switch this over now, just just in case, because honestly, when we're in the uh, the true vault hunter mode, we, we are facing some tough enemies. We're about to level up, actually. If you look at our XP bar, it is just touching, just missing by a hair the next level. So basically, the next enemy we kill will level us up, which is rather nice to see. Right. Nice. Wait, how much XP do we need to get this tiny little bar? There we go. Right, so now we can complete that. That is full at um, regen for 2% of our max health per second. That's pretty good. And then we can go up to 5. We can. That's insane. And we get 3%, so that's like, what's that? 15%? Um, yeah, 15% extra grenade damage on top of that. So that's going to be pretty insane when we level that up. And then we'll be able to get our... Um, Slag rounds on our turret, so that's going to be pretty, pretty awesome once we get all that going. Throwing masher. Throwing masher. Probably should have brought my turret over here. Can I go around? No, I can't. I have to kill them all. Ah, you pirate ninja. What are you doing? There you go, got him. But as you can see, we're still taking so much damage and going down very quickly here. Um, I, I, th I don't know if it's like our shield that needs massively improving or if it's like I don't know we just we just seem to be missing out on a lot of a lot of damage potential here get up here I'm gonna put my turret down there and just deal with them it seems to be like gr grenades and things like that that they're throwing that are dealing the the, the big chunks of damage to us though like or, or if we get like a big beefy boy that fires off one big shot that seems to always kill us quite quickly but we're doing okay. At least we're able to do, deal enough damage to get ourselves up when we when, you, when we end up going down. Oh shit! That's all the way up on a massive raw. That's so cool. I completely forgot about this. That's awesome. Look how cool that is. That structure is amazing. How are we getting up there? I'm imagining it's that massive thing there. Almost dead. I can fix that. Almost dead. I can fix that. I bet you can, boy. And pleasure as always. Nice. But yeah, I want to I want to get myself five extra grenades. That's insane. That's gonna be so useful Eight is already a lot. Oh, I remember this area So I'm not sure if it's gonna be a straight up make our way up this tower and get there Or if there's gonna be a, a bit more to it than that. I imagine there's gonna be a little more to it than that I'm gonna throw that out cuz I'm definitely gonna go down here but as you can see, our health regen is actually really, really good when we have that relic on. There you go. When we have that relic on, plus all the rest of the stuff we have, it's insane. We've got crazy fast health regen. And, like, I say that considering, like, oh my god, hello. I like you. I say that, like, because normally you have zero health regen. It's not like you get base health regen in this game. So, what we have right now is actually quite a lot. Ow. Ow. I keep getting hit randomly by enemies that I don't even see. There's like something up here, maybe? Oh, he's there. I'm not going to be able to get him. Yeah, I thought so. I, that that seems to be the case with the, the vast majority of our deaths. Instead of actually just dying because we were overwhelmed by enemies, we die because we don't have an enemy to kill. Like, we end up dying more to the fact that the enemies die right as we die. And so there's nothing left to to finish off for that second wind because as you saw there we died like twice and got second winds both times very easily I don't know if all of those enemies will respawn or if it's just the last guy. I think all of them have respawned Oh, is it just this one guy? Maybe it's just this one guy there we, go. we got him. Oh, hello. You came out of nowhere You are down you have been bested mon frere right so By the looks of it we want to be going up and around here. Okay, we've got a few few enemies over here. Got a chest here as well. Ooh, what is this chest? This purple one here. What is that? Resist melee damage and deals corrosive spike damage. Chance to corrode enemies. It seems better than what we've got, but I think the resistance is just too important right now. I need to kind of kind of take myself away from these resist and health shields because although they are good we seem to be just using them exclusively and i don't actually think that they answer our problem 
I think if we went for a shield with just more capacity in general, we'd probably have a better time. It will not, it, well, it, to be fair, it will die to protect the treasure chamber because I will be the one killing it. So you are right in that fact. It will be dying. Oh, we got some tri-tail stalkers here. Wasn't expecting to see stalkers in this area, but I suppose any sort of uh, wildlife can exist in this world. They really don't like my turret, do they? Let's reclaim that. We don't need the turret there. We just keep working our way up here. I imagine they're going to try and push us off at some point. Ah, oh, we, don't, we don't even need to stay on there. That's fine. It's just for an extra little bit. Right, let's get out our SMG. Because our SMG is probably our most powerful weapon. It does have to be used in a kind of a particular manner to make it as effective as it can be. But it's not that hard to achieve that. It's just the accuracy is a little bit, a little bit low. So you have to kind of get really close up to enemies to, to deal a good amount of damage. But look at that. When you actually get it. Ben Saramo, but it's insane. Actual damage we're dealing. The fuck is a death charge? Is that is that a special enemy? Or ow. Or is that like a mini boss? If it's a mini boss, I'd like to kill him again to try and get for a legendary, but I don't actually know if that's the case, so I don't wanna waste too much time doing that. And there's a whaler up there as well. There's all sorts of stuff. Ah, you! Luckily, my um, grenade got me a second win there. That's why I like lobbing grenades, especially when there's a lot of enemies about, because obviously it's going to deal a lot of damage, but the bigger thing is, if we go down and it kills something, we get a second wind. Okay, so no, they, they are uh, just mind-throwing buffoons. Whoa, they do a lot of damage. Uh, excuse me, poison. No way. <laughs> what a stupid death. I just walked past a tiny bit of poison. That just cost me like 15 grand or however much it's going to cost me this time around. What you charging me this time, Jackie boy? 3,000. That's not fair about it. Shut up, Jack. You're dead. Well, you're already taken down, so... So, do you want to... Do you want to just calm yourself and maybe... Maybe think about your actions. Oh, well, I say think. You can't, because again, you are dead. You think you're so cool, you think they're all that, but you're actually just dead. You're actually just dead. Right, so we need to activate this lift. I imagine, I almost guarantee it won't work. We have to fix it. That's very, it's very borderlands -y. Very bored, Lanzi. Oh, okay, actually, it's not so bad. Ooh. What's this thing? Oh, it's a human on a turret. Oh, no, it's not a person. It's just a turret. Cool. Don't go over towards that turret. That's my turret. That's my turret. Um, it seemed to have blown up as soon as I... Stop! Excuse me. Doesn't like me getting on the turret, apparently. There you go. He's going for it. You're getting blown up now. Don't even dare get on that turret. Is it going to be like a boss in this area? It seems very boss-like, this area. Like waves and waves of enemies. Ooh, okay. M miffed. Rather miffed. What a saying. I love I love that. That's, that's more of a British saying, that, isn't it? Miffed. I don't think Americans really know of miffed. It just means angry. British dialect is just wonderful, isn't it? It's just wonderful. We have some properly weird sayings. Whee. Are we actually going to fit through this gap? Yeah, it lines up. It lines up. Right. We've made it to the top. Actually relatively easy surprisingly um but i wonder what lies in waits for us i will go and get that teleporter activation just to make sure that we can uh, get back here easily get the checkpoint there we go hmm that doesn't seem to work correctly does it 
It's lovely up here, though. It's like some sort of oasis. <laughs> you get it? Because the DLC is called Oasis. But yeah, it seems to be some sort of like little, little area of solitude. There's no enemies up here yet. Seems rather peaceful, in fact. All right, let's go. Up the elevator we go. Are we going to have to repair this as well? Nope. Things just work here. My god. This is the most functional area in Borderlands ever. Most things are decrepit and falling apart and you have to repair them all. But yeah, we're going to get a great view from up here. Absolutely spectacular view. And I'm imagining there'll be some sort of little piece. I am, yeah. Just find somewhere to place yeah, there compass, you go. And we'll find out exactly where the treasure is buried. Is it working? What's happening? Ooh. That seems pretty cool. Um, let me let me switch over to that sniper. Oh wait. I don't know. Should we? Fire rate's higher. Damage is lower though. But we've got slag seventy percent chance to slag. I think I'll go like with that. Ooh. Relics. Um Sniper rifle damage. Oh, yes, baby. We'll be taking that one. Um, let's just put the sniper rifle damage one on for now and, and try that bad boy out because that's going to be insane for us. Uh, right. Can I jump off of here easily? Is there anything else in here before I leave? Because, yeah, there is. Because it's another chest. Oh, okay. Um, consume six ammo per shot. My god. Pretty crap. I'll take them anyways because I can I can use them. Let's let's try out that pistol. It's electric damage, so it's gonna be really good against shields. Nah, I don't like it. It it, it goes through its magazine way too quickly for me. Way too quickly. This thing looks bad to the ass though. My god, and it's gonna slag the shit out of enemies too. Boy, I'm a jumping. Oh, I'm ready. Oh, nope, it's not. Splo did he just say splooge to me? Oh my god, this thing's gonna be amazing. Kill Scarlet's lieutenants. You backstabbing little bitch. I thought we were gonna be friends. Totally would have shared the loot with you. And then taking it off your corpse. Where are, her, where are her lieutenants, then? They're around here somewhere. Supposedly. I'm not seeing any of them. Unless they're below us, but I, I wouldn't imagine so. Ah! I wouldn't imagine so. Does the, um... No, it doesn't. I was going to say, does the 40% damage from the cha uh, the charm... Keep saying charms. From the relic, actually, calculate into the, uh... Oh, hello. But it doesn't. Scarlet Ninja. No Scarlet Ninja. This would be really, really good with an amp damage thing. I like the way they have, like, voice lines for saying stuff like that. I'm slagged. Ho ho! There's one of them. There's another. You've been slagged, boy. You've been slagged. I'm gonna Grenade deal with you, with grenades. Nothing like a turret kill. Did you drop anything sexy? Not really. How disappointing. Boom. My friend, are you all right? I hear explosions coming from the lighthouse. Is that you exploding? I see Captain Scarlet heading towards some bright light in warm water. I would go very, very fast and beat her to the treasure and possibly shoot her multiple times. That is the plan, Shade. That is the plan. So if you wouldn't mind, could you shut up uh, your face? Right. Let's head down. It's a worm water. Right, we just gotta beat her there by the looks of it now. 
Gotta race her to the finish. If it's any consolation, I meant everything I said to you. You're an awesome warrior, a real stand-up individual. But my men and I just reached the spot pointed out by the lighthouse, so this is where I say... Oh. She, um... She kind of cut off there. I think she might have died. Here it is. Oh. Here we go. A cutscene. Don't get many of those. We've been eaten and digested. Well, this is acid, I suppose. The Leviathan's lair is just inside of it. I completely forgot about this. Luckily, just for just such an occasion, it has eaten it has eaten some uh, some ammo caches. Doctor Zaid. Yeah, for just such an occasion, he's eaten some ammo for us. Thank you. So I'm going to try and continue to use the sniper. Uh, we do need to increase our uh, ammo reserves for snipers a lot. God damn, this is gross. Here she is. So the bad news is the Leviathan swallowed us. The good news is it's taking us to the treasure room. But the best news is, do you remember my pet Roscoe? I found him! He's cute and cuddly, right? His face looks like a vagina. That is not what you want to be fighting. Oh, he he spits racks. Another sentry kill. I love the way my grenades just go after the complete wrong enemies. Okay, don't don't step in the in the stomach acid. What would I do without? Oh my god. Oh my god. This thing's quite the uh, quite the big bastard. And she's throwing grenades off of that thing too. Oh my god. It's got to stay out the stomach acid as well. It's just pooping on the floor. Killed you made me. Look at that thing. Oh god. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take that pistol. And I'm probably going to use it because it looks good. Dastardly greed. I don't know, does it look good? It doesn't look that good, actually. It does a hell of a lot of damage, I'll tell you that. It does literally more damage than my sniper rifle, so... Ah, I've been looking forward anyway. to this! Shame on you! And also well done. She said I've been looking forward to this. Does that mean I've got to fight her here or not? Who knows? I like it a bit, but it's not fast enough firing for me, really. I like something with a bit more oomph, so to say. A bit more oomph. Alright, just keep going through here. Ah, we seem to have found some sort of sphincter. Oh, okay. I see. The Leviathan... Yeah, he is quite large. This thing's going to be quite hard to kill, by the looks of things. The little lady. I'm guessing we just got to shoot at these bits here. Yeah, it does look like that. It does look like that's the case. He's all, he does a lot of slag damage, by the looks of things, too. Okay, so he's got different blue bits on him everywhere. Shoot at the blue bits. Shoot at the blue bits. Oh, my God. And who's this? Who do you think you are? A worm? Oh my god. Ah! He doesn't do a lot of damage, does he? Or at least he's not really trying that hard to do a lot of damage. I seem to be avoiding a lot of it quite easily, in fact. There we go. Get him killed. Get our metal storm on. He also likes to show us his um, his weak points a lot. Look at that. He's like, hey, look, fire in this hole. That'll hurt me a lot. Just just this hole right here. Oh god, he's got a bit close there. Can't really use grenades against this guy, which is a shame. 
Want to meet my girlfriend? Okay, we took a quite a bit of damage there, but I'm having a feeling that was more to do with that snake thing that just appeared right next to us. Right in the heart. Shot through the heart, and it's okay. Don't think that's the lyrics, but it's close enough. Okay, now we've got to get the snake thing in his head. Right, we're out of ammo for this thing. Or just about out of ammo. What do we switch to? This thing? It seems pretty good. Hmm. Yeah, he doesn't... I think we've got to take out all of his little friends here first. Seems to want that. Uh, thank you. He doesn't like these children, apparently, because he does basically just want us to kill them. That's that. There you go. Ah! That's a queen. Have we seen one of those before? Eh! Can I kill those little things? Now you be careful, honey. I've not seen them before. That guy zero, a whole bunch. Come on. Right, there we go. That's that dead. And there's another one! There's so many, so many worms. I don't know where Scarlet's gone in all this. He's managed to escape somewhere. Do you know what? While we're while we're doing this, we might as well switch over to a a more appropriate relic. Love that turret. Get the extra health regen while we're here. We might as well. There we go, there it is, last bit. You we got it. it! The lost treasure of the sands is yours, my friend! They were amazing, weren't they, Lionel? Oh, oh my god. I agree. I agree. I'm a guessing we jump onto this blade here. We do. We climb it. Find the treasure room. Look how much ammo we had left as well. Hardly any. Oh, here it is. Here's the treasure room. Right, now I know for a fact that you can slightly abuse this treasure room by saving and exiting. Let me just check on that first, because I don't want to ruin it. Um, Borderlands 2 Scarlet Treasure Room. Farming the treasure room. Let's, let's have a look, see how we do this. I'll try and mute the video oh. early. There you go. So, we can go into the treasure room. Kill the Leviathan. Okay, it looks like we have to do some sort of weird glitch. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not that bothered about doing that. I can't be asked messing around with that. I'm just gonna, I, I remember that like post patch, it says because that's that says that. Sorry, that says post patch. I mean, I remember pre patch. It was really easy to do. This time, I'm gonna skip it. Hunters defeated the treacherous Captain Scarlet and slew the Leviathan. And as the sun set on Pandora, the Vault Hunters realized that while they'd found Captain Blade's lost armory, the true treasure of the Sands had been inside them all along. The end. How was that? That last part was really hokey. Yeah, it felt kind of contrived, didn't it? Extremely. But otherwise, you ended that story pretty well for a dirty little orphan. Thanks. Ah, don't mention it. I gotta teach somebody to tell these stories when I'm gone. Might as well be you. Yeah. I love you, Marcus. That's weird. <laughs> right, can we skip past this or not? I'm not sure. There we go. So now we enter into the Leviathan's chamber into the treasure room. We've got a lot of chests in here, a lot of potential for legendaries. No guarantee that we'll get one, but a lot of potential for legendaries. Um, and hopefully we get a few. Like I said, you used to be able to farm this really easily. In fact, can we just put on our uh, jump height thingy? So that, this gives 23%, this gives 30%. Not quite, not quite. We can almost make it. Some areas it might be useful for, though, still. Like that, yeah. 
Nice. You can get up here real easily. But yeah, so we, we used to be able to farm this, but I'm not going to cheese the game in some sort of glitchy way. If it was a simple save, quit, we can farm it, I'd do it, but I'm not going to go glitching the game to get us better loot. If we're going to do that, we might as well cheat ourselves in legendaries at that point. Like, I really don't want to be doing that. Right, so let's open up the outside ones first. Now... We won't pick up anything yet because there's some things that we just genuinely aren't going to want to pick up. And it would be nice to sell some things as well, so. Iridium and money for me. Slag rocket launcher. A lot more relics. A lot of dial based things. Are we using many dial weapons? We're using a Vladoff. We Our SMG is dial. Tog. That Dal one's pretty insane. That's also really good as well. Um, we have some pistols here. That's actually pretty good. Um, compared to compared to this that we we're using before, I will take this. Um, put it on there. It is less damage, but it's going to be so much more easy to consistently use. More. More of these here. Incendiary damage. Right, now we go for the big chests. These chests have got some bad boy loot in it. Uh, Vladoff. Is that even better, maybe? Might be. Nice big rocket launcher. Ooh, that could be very good. How come there's a missing spot here and here? I don't know. Some chests. We got a big boy shotgun. Very big boy shotgun. I wonder why that's that color. I wonder what that color means in this DLC. In this uh, mod, sorry. And the last chest. Sadly, not a single legendary for us. Not a single one. But... We did get some good stuff either way. So let's take a look around and see what we want. So there we just have shield. <laughs> I like that. It's just shield. But the the crazy thing about this shield is look at that recharge rate and delay. We get no additional benefits, but it starts recharging way quicker than this. And it recharges almost instantly. So let's let's actually try putting that on first. Like, just for now, let's just drop all of the shit we don't want to carry with us. So we we don't want that. We don't want that. We don't want that. We don't want that. That 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 or that. Um, we do want that. We don't want that. We do want that. We don't want that. We might still want that. Just throw all them off the edge, just so we have more space to actually grab the things we we legitimately want. Um, has the chance to fire twice. Bandit, banditi, banditi, ass beater. Um, that's gonna have much higher fire rate, lower reload. That's probably gonna be better. Not as accurate, but it's probably gonna be better. We have an absorb one there. That's a pretty good absorb shield. I'll take that. Um. I'm going to test this out. I don't think it'll be that good. No, it's, it's not really what we want, that is it. Um, probably going to go with a bandit ass beater. And we'll throw... We'll throw that off the edge. I know we can sell some of these, so it may sound stupid throwing them off the edge, but... I'm going to do it for now. I want to try this out. Um, what shotgun... Are we not using a shotgun at the minute at all? I don't think we are, are we? Let's try it in this slot, then. Because that seems pretty bad, <laughs> in my opinion. Like, we get two shots from it. But then again, it's 475 times 18, so it might be godly. I'll keep it in reserve for now, because it might end up being something we really, really enjoy using. But on, on first glance, it doesn't look that good. Uh, that's not that good. Um, don't really need that. That I probably will end up using. Let's try that out. Just in our SMG slot for now. Oh, 
Every now and again, it doesn't consume a shot. That's really, really good. That's really, really good. I like that a lot. Right, then we have this, which compared to our pistol we're currently using, which is this one here, lower mag size, low, um, longer reload, the damage is higher, and the fire rate is higher by quite a bit as well. Let's try that out. I like that better, you know. I do like that better than the one we were just using. I think that's a bit more. I think that's a bit more me. And I think that's our lot, you know. I think that's. I think that's all she wrote for here. I think that's all she wrote. I don't think there's anything else in here we particularly want. I'll take that for selling. I'll take the rest of this stuff for selling as well. There we go. And we can make our way. Do you know what? I will. Um. I will just drop one thing here, like that or something, just so that I can pick up a purple one of those. Right, and let's head down over here. So we have made our way through. Let's uh, re-equip my uh, my better uh, relic. So what relics are we keeping on us? So we want to keep that one on us. want to keep that one on us. Probably not that one. Probably not that one. That one I'm a bit torn on. Assault rifle, SMG, and shotgun ammo is pretty good. But it's just nowhere near as good as the health regen. Alright. Let's keep moving through, shall we? Head back over. And yeah, we've actually got a pretty good haul out of that there. We've, we've got at least three or four improvements. Unfortunately, we've got like four pistol improvements. So it's like, take this pistol. Oh, wait, the next one's better. Oh, wait, the next one's better. Oh, wait, the next one's better. Which was a bit of a shame. But maybe maybe later on if we really need weapons we'll farm we'll farm that with the glitch, but I'm not gonna bother doing that now. I don't wanna waste time. I'd rather get ourselves moved on to the next DLC in the um in the roster for us, which I believe is Torg's DLC, which is a rather fun one. It's actually the one that I probably remember least out of all of them. Um so I'm excited to play it again. I remember I only played it the one time when it first came out, so I've got a lot to do on that one. Right. There you go. High quality, low prices. No questions asked. That launcher might end up being very important, this one here. And depending on uh Do you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna take off that assault rifle and put that on. Um we didn't get any snipers either, which is a shame. But that um that launcher might be very important for us, especially considering it's fire and the fact that it's got reduced ammo is it just it'll probably be quite a big get for us when facing bosses. Especially if we get a relic that improves rocket launcher damage or even just is this uh nubby it again. Or maybe just um let's try out this pistol. Doesn't seem that good to be fair. I suppose we hit him in the head, it's pretty good. Uh, but yeah, improved rocket launcher ammo capacity, that'd be really nice too. Is this guy going to give us a legendary, do you think? I think he's already given us one of the legendaries that he can drop. If I remember correctly, I found him a bit, didn't I? Nothing from him, though. I wonder where Captain Scarlet got off to. We didn't actually end up seeing her, did we? Maybe she made it out alive. Maybe she was eaten up. X max the spot. Nice one. Don't leave. I'm lonely. We get a legendary pistol for doing this. Hyperion the Invincible. Let's try it out. I have pressing oh shit. Hyperion engineer I know what Hyperion the Perhaps Invincible the is. Of this planet have perverted his mind or something. Right. I don't know. I have a plan. Let's sell times with bullets and he will die. That. Be careful though. He is very that. That. So need to bring some friends back. That. 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 I'll keep them four, just just in case. I'm actually going to sell that shield, and I'm just going to bank on our shield being incredible. I don't know how incredible it's going to be, but I have a feeling... I have a feeling I that... Always. How much money did we just get there? That was insane. That was insane. We got 100,000 there. This shield here is going to be mental. Although the capacity is lower, as soon as as soon as we run out of the capacity for it, we get it straight back. Right, so now we have we have like ten minutes to try this out. Let's see where on the map we need to go here. Um we need to head over to Wormwater. So let's go over to one of the teleport stations, wherever the fuck that is. Is it over here? 
I'm not sure. I don't know where the teleporter is here. I guess I'll just drive over. I can't imagine it'll be a long drive. And we'll see, because the Invincibles... We already, we've already fought one Invincible, and it was very difficult. So we'll try another. I reckon we won't be able to do it. But if we if we do, that'd be awesome. I'll try out. Maybe maybe I'll end up cutting out of this episode if the episode runs too long. I'll see. Because it might take a good few attempts. We'll we'll have a little look, see, um, see how plausible it is for us. It would be real nice if we could do it first attempt, but normally the Invincibles, like he said, you want a few friends, and we don't have any friends because I'm lonely. Unless anyone wants to go, come and download the Reborn mod and play with me to try and defeat the Invincibles, I'd be well up for that. That'd be awesome, but it does re it does require that you get the Reborn mod. But if, if, if anyone really wants to do that and uh, can manage to get to the same level as me, considering you can create a level 30 character off the, off the bat, it's, it's very easy to get to my level. Then um, we could play together and try and defeat some of the Invincibles. I would be very much up for that. That'd be very fun. And that does depend on whether I can beat it on my own or not. If I can beat it on my own, it won't be required. I still would like to play this with um, with some subs at some point. It would be fun. Just go through some of the story. Do sort of my, my, my normal commentary like I'm doing now, but we'll, we'll play with a friend. So is it all the way up here then, I'm guessing? Yeah, it seems to be. Let's go in here. So, what I am going to do is, I'm just going to take off the um, the pistol and put on our um, Aphidius or whatever it's called. Because that thing's meant, this thing's mental. This thing's meant for destroying them sort of bosses. And we probably do need the healing. Let's keep going. We probably do need the, the healing from our relic, so we'll, we'll keep that on for now. Let's try this out. Let's try this out. Yeah, I remember beating this guy for the first time on my first playthrough round. This guy is no joke. No joke. He's pretty insane. Pretty insane. Basically, we want to stay the hell away from him and hope he dies quickly. But I don't think it's possible for him to die quickly. Right, please leave me alone. All these loaders. But as you can see, look, look how fast our um look how fast our turret regains its uh, our turret, sorry, our um shield regains its HP. We lose it and then it's back up almost instantly. Sensor bot, don't need to go to him. Can't remember where the hell it is. Obviously, it's around this way. It's, t it's telling us to go around this way, so it's got to be around this way somewhere, but I can't remember exactly where the door to it is. Because I originally thought when we came across that sensor bot that that was how you started the Invincible fight, because I knew it was in here. Um, but obviously, it wasn't, and you have to have beaten the main story before you can activate that quest. I can't remember what, what he's like mainly about. Look at, look at that shield. It's insane. I can't remember what he's mainly about. Like, Is he, is he more on the scale of... Um, Ah, on the scale of armor, or is he more HP based? I hope he's more HP based, because then we can use our rocket launcher to its utmost effectiveness. Okay, we ha we actually have to beat this area, which is kind of annoying. I am just going to do this. Actually, no, 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 I'm not. I'm going to use this. This thing will take care of him real quick. It'll take care of him real quick, like... There you go. I imagine it'll be kind of shield based considering it's called Hyperius. Seems like it's gonna be some sort of robot, but I don't know. This is why this is where this thing might come in handy. Just the ammo capacity is a bit low. I suppose we could always switch over to the to the one that gives us way more ammo, but it, we might end up wanting the uh, the defense a little more, the healing. All right. We might want to end the episode when we get there actually, because we're at 53 minutes now. I don't want to make an attempt and extend this episode out officially too long. Right, come on you. Ah, exploder. There he is. The badass boy himself. The fact that we're having such trouble with enemies like that does scare me. Does scare me a lot. Right, let's make our way all the way around. 
I reckon there'll be healing and ammo and all that sort of shit right, ne right near it, so we don't have to worry about that. I like our shield now as well because we can run past the vast majority of enemies and our shield just goes up straight away and it makes it much easier for us to run by things. Combat commencing. There's a, there's a chest right here. Melee damage, shield capacity, assault rifle, and don't need any of those. I'm not going to surrender my weapons. Heck off. You don't know me. There we are. It costs eight iridium to try, so... Right, we do have to kill these guys. Apparently they won't leave us alone if we don't. Right, either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. In the next episode, we're going to try this out and hope we can beat it, but I wouldn't bank on it. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.